Hey, what's up everybody? Did you know that 96,000 people move to Las Vegas every single year? The question is why? Well, due to the Fed's interest rate hikes have increased the cost of living for many Americans across the country. Americans are now looking to relocate to Las Vegas because of no state income tax, low unemployment, low cost of living, and affordability for housing. We're also the entertainment capital of the world. So if you are thinking about relocating to Las Vegas, we would like to offer you a free Southern Nevada market report and a relocation guide. All you have to do is click on that link below to claim yours today. All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property home tour. So today I am here in the city of Henderson in this beautiful master community of Anthem Country Club. Now, if you guys have never been out here to uh, Anthem Country Club, it is a guard-gated community, and the security guards are actually armed, and they really do patrol the whole neighborhood. But also, let me just kind of show you with the neighborhood how clean this area is. A lot of the landscaping, all the vegetation, I mean, everything's just very green here, okay? We have a sidewalk on one side, so just keep this in mind if you end up purchasing a home out here. Your guest needs to park on the opposite side. But what's really cool about this community is that if we take a look, we don't get these anymore. You get your own private mailbox versus a cluster mailbox. Now this community kind of really just loops all, all the way around. And what you'll notice around eight o'clock in the morning and also five o'clock in the afternoon, you're gonna have a lot of people just jogging, you know, walking. This is also a golf community as well. They have a full clubhouse, which is really nice that you can be a part of. So there's something to check out. Now this home that we are gonna be featuring today is completely remodeled, okay? This home consists of 3,600 square feet. It is a single story with four bedrooms, three car garage, Okay, total five baths, and was actually built in 2002. And believe it or not, the price is unbelievable for this home, for this location. It is $1,999,688, okay? All right, so let's take a look at this. We've got some synthetic grass, beautiful landscaping. This is the gate that takes us out to the back here. The home is gonna be facing north, so a lot of your sun exposure is gonna be over here on the south side, set on the west. And what's beautiful with this is that the pool is out in the back. Forgot to mention that, okay? We do have some lights as well for your landscaping. So I'm sure at night this thing will look gorgeous. Also, if you notice that the walls here, okay, have been stuccoed as well. Looks like the interior has been completely painted. Look at this entryway just to your house. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at that. Love the fact that we got a front gate here. As we come into your courtyard area. Just the sound of this as you're walking into your home. Now, first thing I see here is that we've got the original windows and a lot of these windows have been replaced. So understand, a lot goes behind this. You're gonna have to, number one, buy the window. Windows are not cheap, all right? With the doors, you're gonna have to reframe this, restucco it, and then you're gonna have to paint it. But out of respect, let me put on my booties for a second. So please hang tight. All right. Get these booties on. And let's go inside. All right. Nice solid door. Very heavy steel. We've got casings around all the windows as well. Love that linear window right there. Look at this.
You're gonna have all natural materials in here, okay? So with these uh, custom homes, what you're gonna know is some of them will use LVP flooring here. True wood, it's actually glued down, which is really nice. I don't even know where to start. Maybe we'll start in this uh, kitchen area. Beautiful bar section. Full overlay cabinets. Soft closing cabinets, obviously. Here we got the side staples, undermounted glide. We got the, looks like, the refrigerator for all your bottles. So, I mean, look at this. They replaced all these windows here. That is not cheap to do. Love that picture window. This looks like a Blanca sink, stain resistant. What product is this here? Oh, look at that skylight. That's gorgeous, right? All right, so let's take a look at this kitchen. Beautiful kitchen island. This is a natural stone. This is a, a marble. And it looks like, did they seal this? Oh, and this one is not. Typically, with these, I would put a film over this. I thought there was a film over this one. I can't tell. Feels like there is, but I mean, look how gorgeous the stone is. Definitely has some nice veining on here too as well. I mean, look at that. Maybe a little bit hard to see. This looks like a two inch uh, front face here. Then we have beautiful front apron. We got the uh, push button for the garbage disposal. This is probably a three quarter. Yeah, it's a three quarter mowing garbage disposal. Again, soft closing cabinets. Love this right here, the dishwasher. This is also connected through uh, your Wi-Fi as well, which is nice. And I wonder if this is a pullout. Oh yeah, look at that. So they definitely did a lot of uh, customization here, so it's just not the front face of the cabinets. So it looks like we have a, a 24 inch cabinet depth, but also we have the uh, pot pull-offs as well, which is really nice. And look at all this additional storage. Soft closing cabinets. I did uh, check the hinges here. These are all uh, Blums, which is a very expensive Hardware. So we got thermal door. We have a full built in for the refrigerator. So this is a seamless counter depth. Also, if we take a look at the uh, cabinets, look how large the upper cabinets are. We have like a, what, a four inch, three inch crown there. I don't even know what size cabinet this is, but interesting. Beautiful subway backsplash. Then we also have this backsplash as well, the marble. Then we have a 48 inch cook countertop, instant burner here. And then we have a total of six burners, then the griddle as well. This is more of a resistance to scratches for Oh, wow, look at this. It's gorgeous. And this is like a piece of art. I don't even want to cook on this, guys. They did such a great job as far as from a design standpoint. The skylights as well. Also, I noticed um, they did add some additional LED lights. I've noticed we got orange peel texture um, that was original with the home. Then we have a one inch bull nose baseboards here, seven and a quarter. But what I like about this is that they actually did the flooring and then laid the baseboards on top. And it looks like what they did was finish it off with some caulking. Here we have a full custom pantry. Now in this one, all this will be exposed. 
Uh, let me know in the comments below if you would actually throw a door here. Because if not, then you would have to have your all your items organized. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, guys. What would you do? Love that hood right there. Look at that. Just so much to look at, guys. Really. I feel like these are uh, 12 foot ceilings here. Then we have the formal dining room, which is really nice. Here we have the uh, garage back over here. I'm going to show you guys the garage in a minute. Looks like we got the uh, faux beams. We got casings around all the windows. All the rocker switches have been replaced more of a, a modern style. I feel like this is more like a, almost like a Santa Barbara style, which is not too sure, but let me know in the comments below for all you designers out there. Here, this uh, pony wall, this looks like it was actually the original but then they kept this as well. Now, I forget the name of this model, but this model right here is the most popular model throughout this whole community. Now, this property just hit the market. Now, for just under $2 million, I can tell you right now, with all the materials here, okay, this is a very good product for the price, I'm telling you. Now let's head down this way. Let's go take a look at the uh, laundry room. Looks like they added a new thermostat here as well. So there's actually three different zones, but we'll get into the unit here shortly. All the doors, eight foot doors, casings, solid door as well. This is probably additional storage, yeah. So this is your closet. Here's all your components. This would be your video and audio room. This is probably, I'll just change that out, make this the whole thing, see if there's an exhaust in here. All right, there's not an exhaust here. Coming into the laundry room. As you can see, we do have some natural stoning on the floor. One thing that you're gonna notice throughout this whole house, we have a zero threshold, which is really nice. That means you would have to get the right tile and the right hardwood. You would have to have the same thickness to make sure everything's all leveled. Countertops here, it's a limestone, undermounted sink. So it's like a cast iron. And then we have a 42 upper cabinets, full overlays here. Here's our attic access. Does come with a GE package appliance front load. This is like a matte blue type, which is really nice. A little different. Now this is not my style, but this is definitely something I can appreciate. This is a piece of artwork. Let's go into the three car garage here. Now as we head into the three car garage, as you can see, we do have a lift master. And this is with the MyQ app. We have insulated garage doors. It has been textured. There's baseboards, epoxy. And we have the soft water. And it looks like we have a brand new tankless water heater. But as you can see, everything is designed. They actually use copper here, which is really nice. It's very clean. Attention to detail on this. Additional storage. Let's head down this way. Yeah, definitely. This, this is a gorgeous house. It really is. Like I said, it's not my style, but I think I could live here, honestly. I think my wife would love it more than I do. I love the uh, access door right here. It takes you out to the back. So let's just say if you want to do your own landscaping and stuff like that, right guys? You put all your tools here, gives you access to the back. That way you could do everything on your own. Also, you're gonna notice that your breaker box is the inside, but then you also have the breaker box on the outside too as well. It's probably a 220 or 240 amp 
for the power box. Each room has its own suite here. We do have the IQ, which is, this is a good system. You can integrate a lot of things uh, with this system. It's a good product. I actually have it myself. These, these rooms are very large. So we got the walk-in closet. Now what you're gonna notice, every bathroom really has its own theme. Again, zero threshold, love the uh, tile work here. I mean, this is just like literally a piece of art. Look at this subway tile here. They also added a soap box with some schluters, uh, but I don't see how clean this is. I mean, look at this. These are the kind of things that I appreciate. Look at that. It's almost like it blends in. They did such a great job. But then what do you notice? And this is very hard to do. We have gold hardware then you notice that there's some silver as well, but it ties in very well. It's like the contrast with the gray and the silver, right? You, the silver just blends and it just all flows together. It's interesting. Very unique vanity here. So we've got an undermounted sink. I love this little gooseneck here. I'm just gonna turn off the lights here in this room as we go along. Take you guys back with me. I'm just gonna turn this off. Just as a courtesy, it makes my job a lot easier. Here we go. Now, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, right above us, it looks like they added uh, some LED lights as well. Fireplace has been resurfaced. Nice, smooth finish here. And I'm just going to show you how clean this is. This is a gas fireplace. They've also added a sconset lighting as well, right above there. We have another thermostat. I'll take you guys to the backyard in just a second. But then we have another uh, attic access point here. The primary separate, as you can see, coming through the uh, French doors. And this is why this is a very popular model. It's a very large bedroom. Okay. Let's see if I can get these lights on here. I mean, the lights are not on, but you can already see. Oh, here we go. Let me back up. The lights are over here. Getting you guys dizzy. There we go. Let's get one more. There we go. Look at this. They replaced this window, all the panoramic windows as well. Love this door here that takes us out to the back. This is, this is a screen door too. Oh yeah, there is a screen door. All right, we're gonna go look at the back in just a minute. Now, if we take a look at the primary, primary is roughly about 22 by 16. Also keep this in mind. If you guys want additional information on this property, the full description, okay? As far as like the community, score footage, size of each room, click on that link in the description or click on the link in the comments. Now let's take a look at this bathroom because this bathroom is next level. So again, we got zero threshold. And this one, we got 12 by 24 on the uh, tile. We have a six inch stagger on here or a 12 inch stagger. Crazy, huh? But now let me show you what's cool about this bathroom here or the shower.
Now, I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, I think it is called, um, let me think here. Kalilak, I think it's called. Um, it's the uh, type of texture. And this is actually a plaster, and I just learned this. So this plaster, believe it or not, is actually waterproof. Now on this one, typically, a lot of investors would just do all glass here, but I love how they frame this out. Then you made a bench seat here. I can't believe this is waterproof. This is insane. And we got some natural lighting here as well. Beautiful vanity. Got the picture window, and then we have our self-standing tub. It's fiberglass. And then we have our custom closet. So you can put your shirts, your pants, your shoes. Soft closing cabinets. Then we do have our water closet here. All right, let's go take a look at the other rooms. I know we're into the video now for about 21 minutes, so I'll try to speed it up a little bit. So we got another thermostat here. Here's your guest bathroom. Beautiful theme here. Coming down this hallway, we got two more bedrooms. Looks like a brand new window there. And let's take a look here. Gorgeous. Now, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, you guys like this type of content, looking to purchase a home, you can go ahead and start off by hitting that subscribe button. And um, if you want to start looking at homes, make sure to visit lvhomeexperts.com. We have the access to all the properties here in Las Vegas, just like this. Also, if you're thinking about selling a home and you have a beautiful home like this, we will also help you sell your home. So this year, we're really focusing on, or this coming year, this year and this coming year, we're really focusing on uh, taking on more and more listings. Here, we didn't have a closet, so they actually built this out. We have a, I think this is 24 or 18 on the depth here, but this gives you a lot of closet space. I thought this was going to take away from the room, but... As you can see how large this room is, okay? Especially for this year, for a 2002, the typical rooms are uh, 10 by 10 or 10 by uh, 12s. This is a 24 inch uh, depth here, so you can actually put your pants, your shirts with a hanger. Now, whoever designed this home, great designer. Did a very good job. Should have asked the owner of the uh, property who the uh, designer was. Because, um, you know, you got to give props where props is due, right? All right, let's go outside. I love these uh, French doors here. Now this looks like a Pebble Tech pool. Okay, let's go outside. 
the cooling deck has been painted. I'll take off my booties, so please hang tight. Cover patio all the way around. We got a gas stub right here. Yeah, the whole exterior has been uh, painted. So we got three brand new AC units. These are the 410, all 14 sear. You got the Pantera pool pump. It is also heat and also solar heat as well. Love the fact that we got some grass. There's a lot of trees. It feels very cool up here. And you have trees and you have grass. Love that water feature. I'm sure at night this thing is just gorgeous. This is the uh, deeper end. All right, let's hit, go down this way. Let's see what we got. Look at all this grass. Oh, it looks like we got a little putting green over here. It's a lot of money into this landscape, and I tell you that much. Huh, so this is the one of the bedrooms. Okay. If I bought this home, this is what I would do. Get rid of this window, do a French door and do a private retreat area have its own backyard. I think that would be cool in this one right here. Because you literally get this whole privacy. I think that would be the only thing I would change on this. But I mean, if I moved in, I would leave it the way it is later. And obviously, if you want to spend some money, that's where I probably put some of my money at. Wow, this landscaping is just gorgeous. I mean, you don't even feel like you're in Vegas. Now, like I said, guys, if you guys want more information about this property, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. Also, if you would like to schedule a private showing, just give us a call. Other than that, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. I wish you guys nothing but the best and be blessed, folks. If you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.